What's up guys and welcome back to Grace Crochets. For today's video, I'm going to be teaching you all how to crochet this super cute market bag. I'm actually in the process of making a few of them just because I don't like using those non-reusable plastic bags at the grocery store. Um, but I just want to mention a few things before we get started. The yarn that I used is Loops and Threads Cream Cotton Yarn and it calls for a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook but I actually used a 2 millimeter crochet hook because I found that if you use the recommended size that the bag ends up being way too stretchy so if you use a significantly smaller crochet hook the bag isn't going to be nearly as stretchy as it would be if you want to take a look here see um, but it's totally up to you that's just my opinion. Um, it does take a little bit longer when you use a smaller hook, but I think it's worth it. So let's get started. You're going to start off with a foundation chain of 80. And the first 14 of your rows are going to be entirely comprised of single crochets. If you don't know how to do a single crochet, that's okay. I'll show you right here. You're going to insert your hook into the second chain from your hook yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through both loops on your hook. That is one single crochet. Show you again. Insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through both loops. You're going to do this for the entirety of your first row and the next 13 rows after. So meet me back here once you have done that. Sorry to switch colors on you guys, but after your 14 rows, your work should look something like this. And you're going to do six more rows, but instead of working back and forth, back and forth like you have been, you're going to do six rows going around your project. And I'll show you how to do that real quick. Instead of turning your work to this side, you're going to stay on the same side and insert your hook into the left side of your project and place a single crochet. You should place around 14 single crochets for this side. Um, it doesn't really matter just because you have 14 rows there should be 14 stitches or single crochets um, but it really doesn't matter too much so long as you don't have too few or too many. Just stick to around 14 single crochets. So now that you have reached your corner, you're going to place one on the corner and then continue working into what was the bottom of your project. And you're going to have 80 going this way and you're going to do what you just did by turning the corner Let's see if I can insert my hook there we go and you're going to end up all the way back here where you started once you go all the way around and once you go to back where you started that is one row and you are going to have six rows total so meet me back here once you have done that. Sorry to switch colors on you guys once again. I had all of these parts pre-made so I could film all at once. Um, but now that you have your six rows kind of worked all in a circle, your sides should be bending like so. And these should be bending. Um, but now that you have your six rows done, now you can work on the body of the bag. And to begin doing that, you are going, let's get more of a close up, there we go. You're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. Now you're going to skip two stitches and place a double crochet into the third stitch from where you are currently working. So one, two, three. Place a double crochet. And after you have placed your double crochet, you're going to chain two, skip 
two stitches again and place another double crochet. So basically, after every time you place a double crochet, you chain two, skip two stitches, place another double crochet. And that is the entirety of the pattern for the body. And for the body, I did 27 rows of this pattern. And after the ninth row is when I switched from whatever color I selected to white. Um, that's just what I did, but it's totally up to you guys. And remember, at the beginning of each row, you are going to chain four because the first two chains are going to act as a double crochet and then these two chains just act as chains. But to end each row, you're going to place a slip stitch into the second chain from the bottom. That's where you'll place a slip stitch to finish off the row just because it's acting as a double crochet. So once you have your 27 rows completed, so basically the entire body, meet me back here. So it probably took you a little while to get to this point, but to continue with your project, you are going to do three rows of single crochet around the rim of your project. And to do, I'll show you how to do that real quick with this pattern. You're going to insert your hook into the top of that last double crochet you just made and place a single crochet. Now, in this space, you're going to insert your hook into this space and place two single crochets. Because if you remember from the beginning of your project, to make this space initially, you skipped two stitches, so now we're just filling that space back in. And now we have a double crochet, so just place a single crochet on top of that double crochet and repeat what you just did. Two single crochet in that space and one on top of the double crochet. And you're going to repeat that for the entirety of this row and the next two rows to have three rows total of single crochet around the rim of your project. And meet me back here once you have done that. After you've completed your three rows of single crochet, your work should look something like this. Now, the next row is pretty much just going to be the same as almost all single crochets, but we're going to be doing some chains to make a little space for the handle. And I'll show you how to do that. You're going to start off the row with 28 chains. I'm just going to fast forward here. Now that I've done my 28 single crochets for this row, I'm going to chain 10. 1, whoops, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now that I have my 10 chains, I'm going to skip 10 stitches down here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And in the 11th stitch, you're going to place a single crochet. After you've done that, you're going to place 18 more single crochets. I'm going to fast forward here. Now that I have my 19 single crochets, I'm going to repeat what I just did here by chaining 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Again, skip 10 stitches down here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Place a single crochet into the 11th stitch from your hook. Now you're going to place 60 more single crochets. Once you have completed 61 more single crochets, you are going to again chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Repeat what you did before, skip 10 stitches. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Single crochet into the 11th stitch. And again, single crochet 19 stitches. And I meant 18 more single crochets, 19 single crochets total. So after you have your 19 single crochets for this section, chain 10, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. You know what to do. Skip 10 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Single crochet into the 11th stitch. And then for the rest of the row, you are going to just be placing single crochets. It should be about 28 single crochets, but no one's perfect. Maybe you miscounted, maybe I miscounted, and it's not, but it's going to be somewhere around 28 single crochets for the rest of the row. So meet me back here once you have done that. Now that you've completed your fourth row for the rim, you're going to place three more rows, all single crochet, and you're just going to place 10 single crochets into this space. You can either insert your hook into this space like so, or you can actually insert it into the chain. It's totally up to you, but meet me back here once you have completed three more rows. So by now you should have completed the last three rows for the top of your project and now you're ready to work on the handles. So to begin working on the handles you should have a chain of 140. Now it doesn't have to be exactly 140 but around there I think is a good number. Um, now for the chain to actually attach it it's a little funky. You're going to take the tail set that down, take the tail, put it out through the back, then back to the front. And it should look something like this. Now you're going to place a slip stitch into the last chain. Uh, I'm just making sure it isn't twisted. Just because if it gets twisted it's a little bit frustrating, but there we go. Place a slip stitch and attach them together so it's basically like a circle. Uh, mine's a little funky. Okay, there we go. Yeah, just place a little slip stitch, connect it so it's like a circle. Now it's going to be a little funky crocheting from now on, but you're going to do eight rows total of a single crochet around the whole thing just like a circle so eight rows and meet me back here when you are done after you have finished your eight rows for your handle it should look something like this now you can stop here and not connect the two layers I think it's cute if you do that but what I do is I will connect the two layers, it just, it's a lot sturdier in my opinion, and I'll show you how to do that now. So, insert my hook, let's see, there we go. So I'll leave about an inch and a half um, of open space, and I will insert my hook somewhere around there, yeah, about an inch and a half. and pull through. And then I'll just go through the entirety, let's see, go through the entirety of both layers on this side doing slip stitches. It is really time consuming just because you have to match up each stitch, but I think it's worth it. It just, it provides a lot more stability and durability because there's a lot of wear and tear when it comes to the handle. Um, but as you can see it's connecting and you can do that for this side and this side and I'll show you what it looks like. It'll end up looking like this. You'll have an open space there and it will 
be connected on the sides. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I know I went a little bit faster in this video so if you have any questions or if I wasn't clear about something make sure to leave a comment down below. Um, thank you guys so much for the support on all my videos. You guys are amazing and stay tuned for more.